Hey kids, welcome back to my channel to possibly the easiest makeup tutorial I will ever do in my life. Well, costume wise. Okay, so a few weeks ago, me and my friend were trying to think of ideas of like costumes that we could do together and we both thought it would be fun to do um, Rachel Green and Monica Geller from the show Friends. If you didn't already know that, I would be real surprised. Even though I'm super, super blonde um, and I look nothing like Rachel Green, I'm gonna be Rachel and she's gonna be Monica. And so I thought I should film it for you guys. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a shot and it's gonna be fun and great and awesome. All right, but if you are interested in learning how to look more like Rachel Green, I guess, keep on watching. We're gonna start out with makeup because this is gonna be like one of the easiest parts. I'm just gonna start out with my Honey Do Me Up primer from NYX. I just bought a brand spanking new one and oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> when I say I love this primer and fully 100% recommend it, I mean it. Okay, now jumping into foundation, I am actually gonna go in with the BB cream that I've been using recently, this one right here, but if you are a Friends fanatic like me, you would know that Rachel Green is very natural. Like her makeup is, I feel like it's never really crazy. I feel like none of their makeup is really that crazy, <laughs> for being honest. So that is why I chose to go with a BB cream. And then for concealer, I'm going to use the Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. Okay, and to set today, I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me Loose powder first of all, and I'm going to kind of bake a little bit. And I like to go in with whatever's left and kind of just set up here because my forehead creases are insane and I'm just not a fan. Never have been, never will be. And then while I let that sit, I'm gonna go in with my <laughs> Color Mates pressed powder, and I'm gonna put this, you know, everywhere else. Okay, and now we're going to bronze, and oh my gosh, I'm actually going to use a different bronzer today. <gasps> this is iconic! Ulta Beauty was giving out like these little bags, and they're super cute. And my friend's mom like bought a ton. Uh, I don't remember how much they were, but they just came with a bunch of like, their products inside that you could like test out and yeah so this bronzer is by Ulta Beauty. I doesn't have like a name or like a color. It's just a little bronzer and illuminator in there. So I'm just gonna use that with my fluffy brush. Even though I did use a new bronzer, I am still using the same blush. This is by Tarte and it is in the color Risqué. Awesome. Since my brows are pretty much already done, all I'm gonna do for them is put on some brow mascara. Um, this one's also by Ulta Beauty and it's in the shade Medium. My brows look so thick on camera, but they don't look that thick in person. It's kind of freaking me out. Wow, they look huge. 
I can't get into this right now. Okay, moving on to eyes. I'm obviously gonna prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Eye Primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into um, this eyeshadow palette I have by Tarte. It has a lot of really neutral colors in there. And I feel like that's pretty much all Rachel Green does. So we're okay with this. Again, this is the easiest look I will be doing. So I'm gonna start out by going in with this light brown shade down here with a super fluffy brush. And I am just focusing this on my outer crease and slightly bringing it in. And then going in with a slightly smaller blending brush, I am gonna go into this deeper brown right here. And this one's going right on the outer corner and smudging into my crease. With a small brush that's kind of pointed at the end, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade right here and just put that on the bottom lash line. And that is literally all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. Now, I already had some mascara on as well because I actually decided to get somewhat ready today, which doesn't usually happen. That's, you know, quite the accomplishment in my book. But I think I will put a little bit more on just because I've seen a lot of flakes falling down, so they obviously need a refresher. But I'm gonna go in with my Full and Soft Mascara by Maybelline. Okay, and then for highlight today, I'm gonna go in with one of my all-time favorites. This is the color Moonstone by the brand Becca, and it's beautiful. I'm not gonna go crazy with the highlight, even though I want to. Okay, and then for lips, I am going to take this brand. I have no idea how to say this. Tristique. It's cool because they it's double-sided. One side is like an actual lipstick. And then the other side is kind of like a lip balm. So this is what we're gonna use because it's just enough color to like make my lips stand out, but not so much that it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, still kind of natural. <laughs> That was in the color Tuscan Wine, just by the way. And lastly, we are just going to set with some setting spray. Again, I'm using Ulta Beauty's. Um, it smells really nice. So far, I have no complaints. Although it kind of like shoots at you like little water pellets. So that might be not fun for some people. All right, so that was super simple. Now I have to figure out how the heck I'm going to do my hair. <laughs> So kind of what I'm thinking I'm gonna do for her hair is just put it in like a bun and then stick a pencil in it, call it good, you know? I feel like whenever Rachel was working at a coffee shop, which I never even showed you my inspiration photo. This right here is my inspiration photo for this costume. Um, it's obviously the coffee shop scene. So yeah, I'm thinking of putting my hair maybe like half up, half down, like it just was, but different. That hurt so bad. That ponytail was in there. My only concern is that I have bangs and they're like freaking out. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do.
So the last portion of this Rachel Green transformation is obviously the outfit. So I'm just gonna put on what I have and then tell you guys like where I got everything and how it came about. All right guys, so these are the things that I came up with to kind of match the outfit in my inspiration picture. So this shirt, I actually already had this, um, but I mean, I did previously buy it from the DI probably. <laughs> or some thrift store um, a while back. I've had it for probably a few, two years now. Same goes for this black shirt. Um, this is actually just from Down East. It's just one of those basic tees. So this black skirt was also thrifted. And so was this. It's a full apron. I just folded it in half and tied it around. And then these uh, tights are from Walmart and this name tag I actually made myself. I used the site called Pick Monkey. I, I have a s subscription there so that's where I made that. Um, I think it turned out pretty good although I had to go over it with marker because my <laughs> ink was running low at my parents house and then of course you have to have a notepad and a pencil because you are taking people's orders now for shoes i think i'm gonna go with this pair right here um they're super nice and classy but very comfortable they match you know just figured they might complete the look Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that if you were planning on being Rachel Green for Halloween, this will give you enough inspiration to do so. Super easy, super fun. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week. Mwah.